Hello, this is Ron Clymer. I'm with First Real Estate School in Hendersonville, North Carolina. And we're here today to talk about comparative market analysis. And comparative market analysis is where we take three comparable sales that have occurred recently and we compare them to the subject property. And our purpose is to ascertain the value, approximate value or approximate price of the, of the subject property. Now, in this case, we got comparable number one that sold for $240,000 recently. We got comparable number two that sold for $220,000, and comparable number three that sold for $224,000. Now, these are facts, and historical fact that they sold for that. We know there was a ready, willing, and able buyer willing to pay that for it, and a ready, willing, and able seller willing to sell it for that price. Now, it would be nice if we could find three comps that had the exact same features as the subject property. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen that way in real life. The way it happens in real life is we find different square feet, different features, like maybe a double garage, patio, or something of that nature. So, now in class, when we do this in class, I teach a thing to my students called CBS CIA. And that stands for if the comparable is better, we subtract value from the comparable. If the comparable is inferior, we add value to the comparable. And I admonish my students to never, 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 never adjust the subject. Always adjust the comparable. So now in class also, we typically, usually, most of the time, tell you the value of a double garage is this, the value of a half a bath is that, and so on. But in this example, we're going to have to ascertain the value of these features with a process called matched pair analysis. And what we're going to do is take the, the comparables. For instance, our subject property is 2,400 square feet. This comparable is 26. 26 and 2200 so none of them are the exact same square feet so we're going to have to adjust for the square feet but how do we know what a square foot is worth well here's the answer we take a look at comparable number one and comparable number three now they're identical same number of bedrooms same number of baths they're identical except for the square feet so if we take the 240 square feet $240,000 that the comparable number one sold for and we subtract the 224,000 square feet that comparable number two sold for it should tell us the value of 400 square feet which is in this case subtract one from the other and that's $16,000 so apparently based on what we have here the value of this 400 square feet is $16,000. All right, we need to know the, we don't need to know the value of a bedroom because all the comps are four bedroom houses. But we got a two and a half bath, two bath, two and a half bath subject. So we need to know the value of a half a bath. How do we figure that out? Here's the answer. We take the, we take the comparable number one, and comparable number two are identical in square feet, identical in bedrooms. The only difference between them is the number of the half a bath. So if we subtract this price from this price, 240 minus 220, we can ascertain that that half a bath is worth $20,000 based on this method. Everybody following me. So we determined that that's true. Now hold on. Let me erase this down here at the bottom because it's in our way. So if we look if we look at the comparable number one which sold for 240. Now comparable number one it's 200 square feet better than 
the subject. Comparable is better, we subtract. Well, if 400 square feet is worth $16,000, I guess 200 square feet is worth $8,000. So we're gonna take that $8,000 and subtract from the 240. And that's gonna give us $232,000. So what that means is, in Mr. Appraiser's opinion, if this house was 2,400 square feet like the subject, four bedrooms like the subject, two and a half baths like the subject, it would have sold for $232,000. This is called adjustment. This is called the adjusted price. This is called the actual price. This is a fact. This is Mr. Appraiser's opinion. We take a look at comparable number two. Now comparable number two is also 200 square feet better. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna subtract that same $8,000. We look at the bedrooms, they're the same, but the bath situation, the comparable, the comparable is inferior. So we're going to add $20,000, the value of a half a bath. So, this house, let me get my calculator for this. This house sold for $220,000 minus $8,000 for the square feet adjustment plus $20,000 for the half a bath. So, this house would have sold for $232,000 if it were a 2,400 four bedroom, two and a half bath house based on our adjustment. Now, if we look at comparable number three, now comparable number three is 200 square feet smaller, inferior. So we're gonna take that same $8,000, but this time, if the comparable is inferior, we're going to add that $8,000. Our bedrooms are the same, our bathrooms are the same, so this property would have sold for $224 plus $8,000, which is $232,000. So in this case, we come out with three houses that are all $232. Now, it doesn't always happen that way, but it did this time, so it would be safe to say that our subject property is worth $232,000. I made a note, this is on page 485. If you're in the ninth edition book, I'm sure that number will change. This tape's gonna stay on YouTube for a long time. I have other YouTube videos to help you with the math. If you're having any trouble with the math, I try to put the name of what I'm doing in the title. I don't always do that. But watch my YouTube videos. Uh, they're a big help. I also, I also have a, a practice review, a practice test online, and that's at www.ncreexam.com. That's North Carolina Real Estate Exam.com. Check that out. That's a big help, especially. I don't know if y'all know this, but there's more people that go take the state exam and they pass the general section and they fail the North Carolina section, the state section. Well, if you'll go to my practice exam, I have one of each. So if you've already failed that state portion, or if you're coming from another state like Florida, using your experience so you don't have to take the 75 hour basic class, you only have to take an exam, go to that www ncreexam.com and you'll find some some help there uh, take a look at that thank you so much if i can help you ron climber first real estate school hendersonville north carolina